In the past lesson, we've demonstrated the types of basic joins. Now let's talk about the special joins that you can use in PostgreSQL. Natural join combines two or more tables based on their common columns. It essentially creates a temporary table for a set of rows to work on several two or more tables. When you use a natural join, PostgreSQL automatically matches the columns with the same name in both tables. If the columns have different data types, PostgreSQL will perform implicit type conversions where possible. If the columns have the same name but are of different data types and cannot be implicitly converted, PostgreSQL will raise an error. A natural join syntax is select space columns space from space t1 space natural space inner or left or right space join space t2 semicolon a natural join can be an inner join left join or right join if you do not specify a join explicitly e.g. inner join left join right join PostgreSQL will apply the inner join by default. Let's apply a natural join on two tables, shop order and customer table. Shop order contains the order details such as the quantity, category, and amount of the order, while customer contains the customer name, state, and city. The two tables can be joined using order ID column. In a new query window, type in select space asterisk space from space customer space natural space join space shop order. The asterisk after the select clause indicates that we want to output all available columns in both tables. Note that in a natural join, we didn't have to indicate the specific joining fields because it uses an implicit join clause based on the common column. Since we have the order ID on both tables with the same data type, PostgreSQL automatically recognizes it as the field to use for the join procedure. Run the script to view the output. As we can see from the data output window, 10 columns were generated. Since we only applied a default natural join, it only shows the order IDs which were available on both shop order and customer table. One of the differences between a natural join and a basic join is the column it returns. On a basic inner join, the order ID would be generated twice, one from the customer table and the other from the shop order table. But in this natural join script, the order ID only appears once since it is a common field between the two tables. It's important to note that natural joins can be convenient, but they can also be error prone. If the two tables being joined have columns with the same name but different meanings or data types, the natural join may not return the results you expect. In such cases, it's usually better to use an explicit join with the on clause that specifies the join condition. Unlike the other join functions, the cross join does not have a join predicate. The cross join creates a Cartesian product between two sets of data. This type of join does not maintain any relationship between the sets. Instead, it returns the result, which is the number of rows in the first table multiplied by the number of rows in the second table, meaning it combines every row of one table with every row of the other table. So if you have five records on the first table and three records on the second table, the generated output or product would be 15 records. It is called a product because it returns every possible combination of rows between the join sets. The following shows the syntax of a cross join. Select space columns, space from space T1 space cross space join space 
T2 semicolon. Let's apply a cross join between two tables, students, and courses. The students table has five records, while course has three. Since cross join does not use a join predicate, the two tables do not need a common column for joining. To apply the cross join, type select space asterisk space from space students space cross space join space courses. Since we have five students and three courses, the resulting output contains 15 records. As we can see from the window, every possible combination of students and courses is applied. Note that because a cross join produces a Cartesian product, the resulting dataset can be very large if both tables contain many rows. Be wary of the number of records that you are cross-joining to prevent slower processing and out-of-disk errors. The last type of special join is the self-join. The self-join in PostgreSQL is a type of join operation that involves joining a table to itself. This can be useful when you need to compare rows within the same table or when you want to retrieve related data from different rows in the same table. Since there is no self-join keyword in PostgreSQL, you can use a left join, right, or inner join to self-join a table. Also, since using the same table name for comparison is not allowed in PostgreSQL, you need to use aliases to set different names of the same table during self-join. Here are the syntax of the different joins you can use for a self-join. Select space columns, next line, from space table name 1, next line, inner space join space table name 2 space on space join predicate, or select space columns, next line, from space table name 1, next line, left space join space table name 2 space on space join predicate or select space columns next line from space table name 1 next line right space join space table name 2 space on space join predicate let's use an inner join to apply a self join to the employee underscore roster table, which contains the employer ID, their name, and manager's ID. We will use the self-join to match each employee to their manager. In the query window, type in select space A, period, employee name, comma, next line, B, period, employee name, space manager name, next line, from, next line, employee underscore roster, space A, next line, inner space join, space employee underscore roster, space B, space on, space B, period, employee ID, space equals, space A, period, manager ID. In this script, we've used an alias for the tables. The first employee roster is marked as A, while the second is called B. Since they also have the same column names, we've renamed the employee name from the second table as manager name, since this will show the manager employee name value based on each employee's manager ID. Run the script to see the output. As we can observe from the data output, Two columns were generated, the employee name, which lists all employees that have a manager ID, and the manager name, which shows who manages the specific employee. If you want to show all employees regardless if they have an assigned manager or not, you can opt to use the left join. In this syntax, replace inner with left, then run the script. This displays John Smith under employee name, who does not have an assigned manager and is probably a top-level employee since he has two managers under him. 
If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.